Hey everybody, we had some little screw up with the recording, so I'm re-recording this for everybody real briefly. Um, we're starting our seafood surveys, our second uh, big project in the class. And so just want to run over the things real quick. First thing is the signups. So for today, you guys should sign up. So firstly, everything is broken up into markets and restaurants. So they're separate uh, a, a data, they're related, but they're separate data um, collection efforts. Everybody's going to be required at the end of this to do two markets and four restaurants. So you can go to the sign-up sheet, the one that says 2024. <clears throat> There's one for you to sign up for a market and sign up for a restaurant. To start with, you're only going to sign up for one market and one restaurant. Um, so just go ahead and put your name next to one. Ideally, pick one that's already here in Los Angeles or Ventura or what have you. But if it's just really, really far, you can sign up for another one, but it has to be within Ventura or Santa Barbara or Los Angeles counties. Um, so sign up. Okay, next, you can go and let's take a look at our uh, field survey sheet. Um, now, everything's broken into, again, supermarkets or, um, or restaurants. We have an English and Spanish. Well, let's start with the uh, looking at the restaurant one. So the first thing I'd like you guys to do for Thursday is do your first restaurant. So there's two things here. First is we have some stuff in the upper part of the survey that is just informational, name of the business, et cetera. Um, the only requirement, if you're, if you're going to a new place, they have to sell at least one item of seafood, at least one item of seafood. If they're selling no seafood items at all, that's not an eligible market or restaurant. Okay, you're going to fill that stuff out. And again, then there's some things here that are a bit, um, you know, just general stuff that, that you, you can uh, do to start with. Next, you're going to jump down to this part that says quantitative observations. Every single item in a restaurant, it would be every item on the menu. In a market, it would be every item being sold, needs to be entered here. Anything that contains seafood. So there could be lots and lots of lines here, uh, depending on the size of the restaurant, etc. Let's look at a filled out one. So here's a restaurant that you know we've we surveyed it, filled it out. I'm going to put the name of the dish and then either say it's an, it's an appetizer or a la carte or it's a regular entree, one or the other. And then we're going to describe something about the species. Either we don't know what it is or it's an unknown fish or it's a snapper or whatever, as much detail as you can. And again, the point here is to act as if you're a naive customer coming into the business and you're wanting to be more sustainable about your seafood choices but um, but but you want to you need information you want to know um, is there enough information for me to understand if this is sustainable or not for example so I want to know what the fish is I want to know where it came from etc now we're not hounding people we're not telling them they have to tell us but we're just asking them where what the fish is where it comes from okay so, um, so in this case, it's an unknown small shrimp. It was sold for $6.95. They didn't know where it came from. And they didn't know how it was harvested. So I filled that out. The next one was an entree of some unknown crab. They didn't know the species. They just knew it was crab. It was $5.95. Didn't know where it was from. Didn't know how it was harvested. The next one was a fish and chips, which was some type of unknown flounder that they collected locally um, in Southern California. And it was regular wild caught. So we'll just go through and fill that out. So start with, just fill out um, uh, uh, the data sheet. You can download this and fill it out by hand. Um, now, sometimes you can get information from the survey, uh, from stuff online. You must go into the restaurant. It's the stuff being sold that day, the specials. You do not put market price, you put the actual price. So you can't do this remotely. You have to go and do it in person. Um, the last little bit here is the questions to the wait staff, right? The fishmonger wait staff. And so we list two way back in the day. We used to do two per restaurant. We don't, I mean, if you, if there are people and it's dead, you can go ahead and do that, but really you just need to do one person. And so you're going to say, Hey, um, I just got a quick question. We're doing this project for my class. Um, have you ever heard of, uh, MSC or seafood watch or any other guys in sustainable seafood buying? That's a yes or no question. Next one is, how many customers ask you about sustainable seafood? Um, now, they might just say none, in which case you can put none. Um, but if they say something like a few, you want to try to quantify that if possible. So does that mean one a day? Does that mean one an hour? Does that mean you know, one a week? And then how many customers do you have a week? Right? We're trying to quantify it as much as we can. If they just give you very qualitative, put that down. But as much as possible, we would like to get numbers on this. 
Then we'll ask about, hey, how many people ask about where their seafood comes from, the source of their seafood? Um, again, another quantification as best you can. And the last one is an open-ended question that just says, what's the most common seafood question that your customers ask you? And so that's, they're going to tell you that. Uh, and just go ahead and write those down. So for Thursday, that's all you're going to fill out. You're just going to do one, one um, restaurant. You do every seafood item in there, um, enumerate it, and, uh, and go from there. Thanks so much. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.